Hello everyone, here in this lecture, I am going to explain you in a very brief manner about the male reproductive system. So, this system consists of various organs that combinedly uh, help in release of sperm exteriorly because the system contains the male gonad, uh, like in female there is a ovary and uh, in same manner in male there is a male gonad called testes. So these testes releases sperm and uh, with the help of various accessory sex glands and the system of duct, this sperm mixes with liquid portion and forms semen and that travel along the whole tract of various duct system and it is transported exteriorly through the supportive structure penis. So combinedly it has many organs. But here I am just giving you a brief description about its supportive structure in this part. So the supportive structure in the male reproductive system includes the scrotum and the penis. So just have a look on the scrotum first here. So what is scrotum? Scrotum is a pouch like structure, a sac or pouch like structure. Externally it is looking like as a, just a single pouch like this. So, but there is one median ridge, uh, line form, elevated line is there uh, medially, uh, which is called rasse. A median ridge is present over the external surface of the sac of the scrotum, and this scrotum is mainly formed by skin and subcutaneous layer. Okay, and it is extended from the root of the penis. So here is the cross section of the penis. So the scrotum hangs from the root of the penis here and uh, internally this sac is again divided into two. So internally it is divided into two part and in each part there is a male gonad which is oval shaped structure. So internally male gonads that is testes lying within this scrotum in this sac. So these are the testes. Okay. So this scrotum septum is made up of subcutaneous layer as well as one muscle which is called as datus muscle. Okay. So these testes are surrounded by a type of muscle uh, which is the extension of internal oblique muscle. The internal oblique muscle is the muscle of anterior abdominal wall. Yes. So it is the extension of the interior internal oblique muscle that descend down through this spermatic cord and surround the testes. Okay. So the extension of these internal oblique muscle descend down through the spermatic cord and surround these testes here and that is called cremaster muscle here ok. So this is called cremaster muscle. So the location of the scrotum help in production of sperm as it requires less uh, then 2 to 3 degrees Celsius temperature comparative to the core body temperature. The temperature of internal organs is called as core body temperature. So the temperature, the formation of sperm requires uh, less than 2 to 3 degrees Celsius temperature in comparison to the core body temperature. So the scrotum is usually lying outside the pelvic cavity by that only it maintains the temperature. Okay. So sometime it happens that if the temperature is cold then the muscles of these scrotum that is the datus muscles and cremaster muscles contract and it allows the scrotum to be tightened up and closer to the body so that it can absorb the heat from the body okay in uh, cold season and in hot season what happened the, the muscles of the scrotum relaxes and this allow the scrotum to move away from the body and will not absorb heat anymore okay 
So the location of scrotum is very helpful for these testes to produce sperm. In so this was about the scrotum, uh, which is the pouch-like or sac-like structure that accommodate the male gonad in each compartment of the sac internally. Now next supportive structure is the penis. So penis is a cylindrical structure. Okay, and it is mainly composed of three erectile tissue. So let me draw here. There are the two dorsolateral masses, the two dorsolateral big masses and one midventral small mass. So all together the penis is made up of three erectile tissues. So let me draw here the enlarged figure here. So there are three part of penis, root, the body and the glance penis. So the innermost mass, that is uh, the midventral mass, the small mass contains the male urethra, the part of male urethra that is uh, the spongy urethra within that. So this is the spongy urethra. So spongy urethra lies within this midventral mass here it is the spongy urethra okay which is lying within the midventral mass and what is the midventral mass it is called as that is corpus spongiosum it is a corpus spongiosum so let me draw the corpus spongiosum here So here is the corpus spongiosum. So all together the penis has three parts. The attached portion, the attached portion is called as root. The mid elongated part is the body that is made up of three erectile tissues and the distal part which is acron shaped. Uh, acron shaped is because uh, there is one tree that is oak tree and in that tree the fruit is called acron which is acron shaped so this is similar to that structure so that's why it is called acron shaped and the acron shaped structure distal part is called as glance penis here so this is the glance penis so these are the three part and uh, the mid ventral this part is called as corpus spongiosum so this is the corpus spongiosum this is the attached part the part which is attached is here is the bulb this is the body and the glance penis and the margin of this glance penis is called as corona so these are the part of corpus spongiosum the bulb body and the glance penis now there are the two lateral tapered ending of other two masses okay so these are the lateral tapered end of two dorsolateral masses these are called crura crura of penis so these two dorsolateral masses here are called corpora cavernosa so the two lateral masses are corpora cavernosa so these combinedly bulb and crura are called root so the bulb is the attached portion of corpus spongiosum which is attached with the inferior part of the deep muscles of perineum and along with that it is also surrounded by bulbospongiosus muscle and the crura of penis is attached with the ischium and the uh, inferior part of pubic ramine okay so again there also it is covered with the ischio cavernosus muscle so here the muscles which surround this bulb help in ejaculation when it become contract yes so ejaculation is the release of semen uh, exteriorly now there is one skin that cover uh, this glance penis here the skin that is 
covered this glans panacea is called prepuce or foreskin and there is one dilated end of this urethra which lie within this glans panis and exteriorly it is open in form of slit a cut like form where it is called as external urethral orifice so all together these three erectile muscles are covered by a fibrous layer here just see here these all erectile muscles are covered by a fibrous layer and this fibrous layer is called tunica albuginea and all together these all three muscles covered by a skin and subcutaneous layer that encloses these all three muscles here now the structure of this penis is supported by two ligament because it is a hanging structure so it is supported by two ligament one is the fundiform ligament fundiform ligament is the extension of linea alba so we know that uh, in the anterior abdominal wall there are various muscles that aponeurotic and they meet medially in form of a white collagen fiber that is called linea alba so this linea alba extend downward and form the fundiform ligament and the other ligament is the suspensory ligament and this ligament attaches this penis to the symphysis pubis so these are the two ligaments that support the penis that is suspensory ligament and fundiform ligament that allow the penis to hang down and it support its weight so here in this lecture we have discussed with the supporting structure of male reproductive system that is the scrotum and the penis thank you